Hello, welcome to the interactive coding build test. There are five sections to this test, all divided out in your code. The first is to put an interface, which includes the word swipe and go. This is a button and that's a label. So that's the first step is to put those on the stage. The next is to put the book on the stage, which is a sprite. And then we swipe through the sprite with a swiper, which is a Zim class. In that step, when we click the button to go, the book plays back and fades out and a squiggle uh, comes in. So this is the third section, squiggle section, where we had some instructions, which is also a label and a squiggle. And we'll see that transition again. I'll show you again, but let's just go through the whole thing. Um, once we, the instruction said to draw a peanut, so we would actually try and draw a peanut here. I mean, you don't have to do all this drawing each time. But when this section ends is when the peanut is actually uh, finished. So when these two uh, get dropped and join, drop, a peanut is made. Now that um, adds a backing. So do you see the backing? The backing faded in. It's a, a dark backing with a tile. So the backing is a rectangle and then, then the tile is a Zim tile which tiles the word peanut story with these little stars in between. So that gets tiled on there and the backing fades in. Um, that's the fourth step. The fifth step is the blob gets made on top of that backing. The blob is uh, masking a the peanut graphic and it's draggable. So um, the blob is made based on the points from the squiggle and there are hints throughout how to do this stuff. Um, and then when we drag the blob it masks and shows the squiggle or shows the peanuts in, in behind. And that is the end of the test. Let's just refresh it and look at it again. So we're using a swiper. The swiper is on the whole stage. And uh, you should be able to set up a swiper. It's very similar to a slider or a dial. It's a swiper. And then there's a go. When we press on the go, watch what happens. The book is going to animate slowly back like that or a little bit slower and fade out as it does that. And these two things both disappear. So that swipe goes away and the go goes away. You ready? There goes the book. It animated. So we use the run to animate the sprite. Now let's just watch what happens with the uh, label here. First of all the squiggle animates in as in fades in and I'm going to rewind again. We'll go to the end and I'll swipe, draw peanut fades in and draw peanut fades out. And that allows us to draw a peanut. You can just quickly draw by just uh, taking the end and join them like that. So these two things are hitting the first point, the circle of the first point of the squiggle and the circle of the last point of the squiggle. They're hitting and when they hit uh, the background fades in. This just appears I think. Let's try it again. Control rewind. We swipe. We hit go. Uh, maybe it faded in too. We'll see. We go like that. Yeah, it, it just appeared right over top. So this is um, the peanut picture masked and, <laughs> and you get that effect. Okay, so uh, read through the hints and build that. Good luck.